bragging. Trump just tracked him down personally and deported him. Obama is furious. If there's one legacy that Obama had, it was looking out for everyone other than Americans. He looked out for Mexicans and Middle Easterners, he looked out for the UN and just about anyone and everyone other than Americans. The logic seemed to be that since we have so much, everyone else deserves a piece of our pie. The sob stories are always plentiful when liberals are trying to make Americans feel like scum, but the truth remains, that there have to be laws, otherwise it's anarchy. There were few groups that Obama looked out for more than the illegal immigrant. Maybe it's because of his own questionable status, or maybe he felt the pressing need that all Democrats feel to import their voters, but Obama made more allowances for lawbreakers than just about anyone in history. Sadly for them, that gravy train stopped when President Trump took over and started looking out for Americans first. This has disturbed many a liberal, especially when the money to sanctuary cities dried up, and the deportations began. The Springfield News Leader recently reported on the story of a Michigan illegal alien who was deported, despite his effectively avoiding deportation and living here illegally for 30 years. During that time he put down roots and built a life here. Now, apparently, we are monsters for enforcing the law and deporting him. After 30 years of living in the U.S., Garcia, a 39-year-old Lincoln Park landscaper, was deported on the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday from Metro Detroit to Mexico, a move supporters say was another example of immigrants being unfairly targeted under the Trump administration. Jorge Garcia was brought to the U.S. by an undocumented family member when he was 10 years old. Today he has a wife and two children, all of whom are U.S. citizens. This is meant to be a very sad story. Garcia is being trotted out as an example of the type of people who come to the United States and do well, just like American citizens. Here's the problem with that, they're criminals. Now, you're probably thinking that most of us are criminals to some degree or another. We've all done things like speed or maybe something worse that we had to pay for. The difference between most of us and Garcia is that as Americans we're entitled to forgiveness and even rehabilitation as the government sees fit when we commit a crime. No citizenship, no forgiveness. Garcia had been facing an order of removal from immigration courts since 2009, but under the previous administration, he had been given stays of removal. But because of the Trump administration's immigration crackdown, Garcia was ordered in November to return to Mexico. His supporters say he has no criminal record, not even a traffic ticket and pays taxes every year. Nevertheless, Garcia had to be removed, said Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE. On Monday morning, accompanied by ICE agents at Detroit Metro Airport, Garcia went through security as supporters around him held up signs that read, Stop Separating Families. We love you, Jorge, said Mayor Vale of Detroit as Garcia hugged his wife and children. They're a good family, they're hardworking. This is so sad. This is outrageous. We never expected this would happen. Garcia's case is the latest example of immigrants who previously would have been allowed to remain in the U.S., but not now as the U.S. seeks to remove more immigrants. Garcia is too old to qualify for DACA, which allows the children of undocumented immigrants to legally work and study in the U.S. Garcia said he had asked ICE if they could wait until new DACA legislation is passed which might expand the age range for immigrants to qualify. But, he said, they refused and said he had to leave by January 15. How do you do this on Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Said Eric Shelley, a leader with Michigan United, which advocates for immigrant rights and other issues. It's another example of the tone deafness of this administration, if Jorge isn't safe, no one is safe. Shelley said he's concerned that minority immigrants are increasingly being targeted, citing remarks Trump has made about African and Hispanic immigrants. Shelley was joined at the airport by other immigrant advocates and an official with the UAW, which has been supportive of Garcia. A spokesman for ICE told the Free Press on Monday that he could not immediately comment since it was a federal holiday, and their offices are closed. Is Garcia's story sad? Yeah kinda. But it's sad because of the results of choices that he and his family made. 
someone brought him here when he was a child, and he chose to stay as an adult. Then his wife chose to marry him, presumably knowing his status, and they chose to have children here. None of that is the fault of the American taxpayer, but we're the ones being made to feel like monsters if we support only legal immigration. Let's face it, if you've got two lines of people wanting citizenship, and only a limited number can be accepted, because sadly, that's the case, you choose the line of people who haven't proven themselves to be lawbreakers. It's just common sense, something Obama never seemed to be a fan of. Fan of.